Okay, we're back in Resident Evil 7. Hello everyone. Um, if you remember last time, we saw a flashback where it's revealed that Mia and a guy called Alan were protecting Evelyn on the boat. Who turns out was actually a secret bioweapon. Um, and then Evelyn went nuts and killed everyone and infected everyone and so on and so forth. And now we're on a boat with no weapons. So, let's, uh, so... I can hear the enemies from the bloody safe room. Oh, I should manage my inventory first. It's full up. Alright. I've got plenty of machine gun ammo. No machine guns, though. Alright, let's make another health drink. Put that away. Put these away. Right, now we should be good for any kind of a... Uh... Right, now... There's still a few rooms here I haven't checked. Oh, they're gone. Right, well, that's unlocked, so I can make a quick escape if I need to. A bomb. That's something, at least. That's not going to be enough to kill one of them, though. in here. Uh, now this room is a bit different. Uh, more machine gun ammo for a gun I don't have yet. A box that I cannot break because I have no no weapon, no knife. Another coin. Got three coins. Ah, now here is a puzzle room. Um, you have three paintings. They're all orientated a certain way and you just have to rotate them to match the... the orientation it matches on the other side. Which as far as Resident Evil puzzles go is pretty, like, simplistic. It's a bit weird. Lots of corrosive. Okay, so now we can access those areas we couldn't before. Can't climb out this way. Maybe you should, guy should come in here. Why, it's nice. I'm assuming that doesn't hurt me. I don't. I, I hope the game isn't bullshit enough to have like puke go through walls and shit. Is he coming in or not? Yes, he is. Huh? Alright, I guess you just melt then. What is... I guess, like, when you go into certain areas, it despawns enemies. That is a bit weird. What's up here? I couldn't go up here last time. There's got to be a weapon somewhere. Lots of ammo. And no weapons. I can't even destroy the bobblehead. That didn't even give me a knife. Oh, come the fuck on! Alright, well... Is there any rooms in here I haven't checked? 
Ah, there is a room with the corrosive lock. Let's check that place out. Yeah, I'm guessing the game just despawns enemies when they reach certain certain parts. So if I go in here. Despawns the enemies, but I think it remembers where the enemies are. And if it does respawn them. Oh, I guess not. Squirt. Please give me a fucking weapon. At least let me break the boxes. Oh well, that's uh, that's also good. Normally you get the knife around here, uh, not here, but it's somewhere. All right. So lots and lots of uh, angry noises outside. Lots and lots of angry noises. Can you imagine these guys around the dinner table? Nope, oh, he saw me. I'm out of here. Wait, no, that's not it. So far, so good. Alright. I... I'm gonna go get a machine gun. Because that's the exact kind of thing I probably need at this point. <coughs> I am surprised the game has not given me any gun at all. again. It says madhouse mode, even though we're not in a house. Mad boat. <laughs> ah! Ow, hey. Again, no weapon kind of blows here. Did he just give up chasing me? Right. All right, those all right. Is he still out there? Yep, he's still out there. Again, because I don't have the little fit bit, I can't tell how much health I have. Come at me, man. Oh, okay, I thought I could just outmaneuver him. Well, whatever. Eat it. All right. Got to get me the fuse. Because we have access to that elevator now. We don't actually need the fuse there. Oh, over there, actually. I remember, there's a box here. Worth it. I've already checked here. 
Might be worth popping those pills. Though it's not revealing much, gotta say. They'll be disappointed. I mean, nothing I wouldn't have seen anyway. Alrighty. A backpack, a herb, and a survival knife. Alright. Alright. It's good. Good. I have guns now. Let me just rearrange them so I can... There we go. Alright. It's all well and good. Keeping an ear out for anything that might get the boozle on me. What was that noise? Oh, it's those fat men. I used to have a gun now, but I don't really want to waste my ammo on them. Mm. What's that? I don't think that's on this level, actually. What's this over here, then? Oh, that's the, that's the fuse I literally just put on. Alright. Um, where do I have to go next? I'm trying to think. No, oh, third floor. Corrosive. No, oh, Willy snaps. Eat it. Not so tough when you have no legs. This door confuses me, okay. Uh, keep an eye out for this door. Uh, I'd rather remember this door, okay. Now, this is where we got blown out of the ship last time. I don't know what those weird things are. It's a weird thing to have on a ship. Just big balls. Right. I don't know if I made this clear, but we need to turn on the act uh, elevator by using the fuse and also cable that's in here. Um. It gives you the handgun now. That's a gunpowder, psychostimulants. Yeah. Um, good time to use this, I guess. It's 
suspect this is going to take up a lot of ammo. I think she can block that to a degree. Was that it? Guess so. Anyway. Oh yeah, I can't tell how much health I have. Oh, they didn't use too much ammo. I have a handgun at least, with two bullets in it. Although at least I have um, I got I think I have a chem fluid to make them with. Corrosive. Right. So here's that door. You can't interact with it at all. I suspect this was intended to be a shortcut back here that you unlock from this side once you get the cable. Oh, hang on, yeah, cable. I need the cable. This room has a cable in it. This is what we need to turn on the elevator. Uh, is that an enemy? What the? Get out of here. As I was saying, this is the cable you need to turn on the elevator. Alright, all good. Anyway, yeah, I suspect you do that all that. You come through here, fight the boss, the fat man, and then you, um, you just come back out. But instead, no, for some reason you can't interact with that door. Actually, let me just check if you can interact with it once you get the cable. Nope, still can't. Yeah, I, th I think that's just an oversight on their part. They, like, you just had to backtrack around the long way. Now, in theory, we should have everything we need to blow this joint. I was about to say I should probably save, but I don't have any of my tape cassettes on me. Gotta make my way to the save room. Chomp. I don't want to pick up the fuse. I want to put the cable in here. There we go. Now I'm gonna make my way to the save room. I like the way Mia holds the gun. She just holds it way up to her face just so it's in view of the view model. Okay. Gonna save the game. Oh. Button. Gotta get to the bottom and save Ethan. Hmm, got a lot of chem fluids. Perhaps I should make some gun ammo. Gun ammo and a health drink, why not? That ought to do me, right? But yeah, the way Mia holds a gun, like a knife. I mean, you can't see it, but they have fully animated, like, an actual player model. It, it, it just looks very weird when she's holding her gun, like, way up on her, like, face. It just looks so very, very silly. Anyway, let's blow this joint. Alright, off to the basement.
He's waiting. If you say so. I have any bombs? I have no bombs. bad idea. Okay, yeah, that was a bad idea. Very bad idea. You can attach remote bombs while grappling with them. It's too bad I don't have a remote bomb. Good thing I say. Actually, since I'm here, I'm going to use one more of these. Any of these around? Nope, don't see any items. I must have fished them all. There's something there. Must be on this level then, if it's. You know what? I'm not even going to bother checking. It must be on the other side. I just want to see what that thing is. What is that? That must be something. Ah, the box that I couldn't open earlier. And gun ammo. Nice. Something over here as well. Strong chem fluid. Damn, I should have saved it for that. Oh no, I died and didn't make any health drinks. Oh, okay, they just melted. Fucking hell. Perhaps I'll despawn them again. <laughs> as soon as you go into here, they go away. This is some weird logic, man. Will I be able to outrun them before they spawn? Might be worth going to that save room, actually, because I'm going to make myself another health drink. Because uh, it didn't save when I died. Actually, since I'm pretty good on uh, inventory space, I might as well carry the, in the extra, whatchamacallit, the extra chem fluid. Alright, this time, let's not die horribly. So yeah, the monster comes from above. Now another monster spawns ahead if you run past, so I don't want to get flanked by two dudes again. That missed. Very effective, honestly. Might as well use up those bullets. Yep, there he goes. I wonder if playing the game on PC it's like super easy mode. I imagine on console it would be a lot harder to like get consistent headshots and all that. It's like with Resident Evil 4 on the Wii. It's a great game but you get the feeling that it wasn't really balanced for the fact that you could just use the Wii mode to get headshots 100% of the time. 
been here before already. Oh, well, it, there'll still be supplies here, I guess, even though I've sort of scoured the area in the past. Another coin. Will I get enough coins to get the magnum, I wonder? I doubt it. I need another two. I need another two more. Fucking bastards. I hate those things. Looking pretty bloody, bloody screen. I'll just shower myself. Gotta moisten my hands so it'll be less abrasive when Mia fingers herself. Alright, let's roll. I don't have any more, uh. Whatchamacallits? Say bad. That is bad. I should have saved the. Should have bloody saved the remote bombs for him. Alright. to attack the moment I hear. I suppose I could just run past him actually. Good thing these enemies are super slow and stupid. Oh, for some reason, Mia's panting. What's in here? A coin! Will I get another one, I wonder? Suck it up, you baby. Ah, bombs. No coins, though. Ethan. Looks like he's enjoying his little mud bath. Killer son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas, or even Zoe here. That girl Evelyn. She did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? <sighs> she infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces a way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her and you can't resist the urge to... You're a, you're a different person after that. 
just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her and you stop her. Ethan, free my family, please. Stay away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Don't do it. So what? <laughs> You're not my mom. Remember? Hmm? Is anyone? Oh. Ah, after 10,000 years, I'm free. It's time to conquer Earth. There's no time. You have to get out of here and find her. Here. She's right there. Take this. What? Wait, wait. what are you doing? What are you doing? Saving your life. You need to go. I won't be able to resist for much longer. No. Now go kill that little bitch. No. No. Mia! No! Oh. And now we're back as Ethan. We have the Evelyn tissue samples. Well. I guess that's Mia, all infected and stuff. Okay, you little bitch. Where the fuck are you? That's a good question. We've been asking that for a while. Where the... Ooh, another intake coin! Hmm. Sorry, I was just distracted. I was stuck in this bit for ages, because I didn't notice there was a hole in that grate. I was like, okay. Where, where do I go? Do I, I go? And I'm just walking around for ages, trying to find a way out. But now he's just here. Um, you know what? I'll take your word on that game that it says it's all your fault because I can barely read that. I mean, I don't know if that's just like the graphic settings on my computer with the sort of medium textures and whatever, but uh, that doesn't look like it's all your fault to me. All right, so now we're out of the ship. And into the the sea of dead fishes. Into the swamp. Oh, yeah, I forgot to crouch. So we just saw a little flashback from, uh, well not a flashback, a weird message from uh, from Jack, who seemed to be sort of normal good Jack before he got infected. And it seems like ever since that incident three years ago, he went bonkers and turned them into crazy people. I don't know how we will see, I don't know how we were seeing that message. I don't know if that's like a dream or if Jack was communicating with us from beyond the grave, even though we sort of jabbed him in the face with the serum and turned him into like a weird calcified monster thing. Hmm. February 1892. I guess the baker's owned a mine? That is a bit weird. Abercrombie Salt Mine, South Dovely, Dolvey, Dovely. Newer rounds are completely useless. I'll use a separating agent on those. There's a helicopter. Are they watching us from that helicopter? 
And there's another note that says, where's my mower? Alpha 1, this is Bravo 1. Do you read? This is Alpha 1. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Ah. At last, we're getting into the, uh... I don't know, the, the sort of military aspect of Resident Evil. Got a cassette tape. Got some solid fuel. Got quite a few supplies now. We've got all the items that we didn't buy previously are in this area because this is approaching sort of the finale of the game. See, there's the ship. We just went to the swamp. And now we're going to the lab. So we're heading over to that lab. And you've taken Mia's things. So we've got all the things that Mia had. So first I'm just going to sort out my inventory a bit. I'm going to take the survival knife, not the shitty pocket knife. I'm uh, going to get the M19 handgun, shotgun, get the machine gun, handgun ammo, enhanced handgun ammo, machine gun ammo, um, something else as well. Got a lot of separating agents. Going to use a separating agent on that there, uh, what do you call it? Neuro rounds. Strong. What do you call it? I'll make some strong. Uh, make some strong bullets. Might be a good idea. Or should I use grenade rounds? I can make some grenade rounds. I don't know if they'll be that useful. I don't have any grenade rounds actually. Might be an idea actually to make some grenade rounds. Well, I'll keep that on me for now. Need some health kits. Do I have any still? I have a strong head med kit, but I'll need some actual med kits. Uh, regular med kits, I should say. Got plenty of herbs and plenty of chem fluids, so I should make myself a, a couple of those. Alright, I'm all decked out, I think. Oh, one thing I need to do. Got me some coins. I've got ten coins and that is enough to purchase the magnum I thought you needed 10 you only need 9 and since this is the finale of the game might as well right might as well in it in it Now we have the f 44 mag. Takes up two slots. But it's hella powerful. Alright. Oh, where's the magnum ammo? I got eight shots of this thing. That's all we have. Okay, well, I think now is a good time to uh, call it a day there. We're going to head over to the lab and maybe finally find Evelyn and destroy her once and for all. So see you guys next time on Resident Evil 7.